What is up, what is up, what is up? Going live for the first time in a while. First time in a while I'm going live. Let's get some people in here. Hopefully my connection's good. I'm out of town right now, so hopefully my connection's good. Let's see. What is up, what is up, what is everybody up to? What questions y'all got? No specific topic today. Just wanted to answer some questions real quick since I haven't been on live. I was going live like every day for like three weeks straight. But I ain't going to lie, start burning me out on top of everything else I got to do. Uh, making sure my clients are taken care of. Editing plans, sending out plans, editing videos, recording videos. And going live every day for like two hours. I'm like, all right, let me take it easy. And I'm out of town right now. I'm on the East Coast. So I just flew from the West Coast to the East Coast. Overnight flight. I ain't sleep on a flight or nothing. I never sleep on the flights. So... No sleep, 24 hours straight right now. Wanted to answer some questions, so drop y'all's questions. We'll go in. Hopefully, I got a good connection. I'm on a whole nother coast. My phone be acting weird sometimes when I travel. So, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. No need to deal with the tumor. No need for it, right? Another thing there's no need for, let's talk about it, is all this stuff that says fortified. If it says fortified, you don't want it, right? Because if it's fortified... All that means is they add unnatural things to it, right? Which we don't need anything unnatural added to our foods. Anytime you see something that says fortified with vitamin this and vitamin that, that means they added vitamins that weren't already in the food. Why did they do that? It doesn't make it better because to add that, what they had to do was they had to break down what the food is and then add back minimal vitamins. That's what fortified is, right? So you don't want fortified, all right? They'll put fortified real big. They'll put organic real big. They'll put natural real big. And then you turn it around and the ingredients are still trash. Like, I don't know if, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I posted on my story, I think yesterday. Because <laughs> I always get people asking me, you know, why does my kid got ADHD? How to get rid of ADHD? And I posted a label of Dunkaroos, which is a, a popular food that you give to your children. And I circled the ingredients. It was like, 40 ingredients. Most of them you can't pronounce. I have no idea what they are. And these are what you're feeding your children. And then you come to me and you ask me, why does my kid have ADHD? Your kid doesn't have ADHD, Mrs. Jones. Your kid has Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos is what your kid has every day. <laughs> and you're giving it to him. So there's the issue. What is up? What is up? Yeah, young coconut. You drink it straight out the coconut. That's your best bet. If you can't get it, get the coconuts, which most of you should be able to. You can get it at like a local Thai restaurant usually. Um, but if you can't get uh, harmless harvest coconut water, that's the only real coconut water. That's why the bottle in it, you see the coconut water is pink. Because when oxygen hits co real coconut water, it turns pink. Right? Thank y'all. Thank y'all. You just wanted to hop on and answer questions because I was going live, like I said, if you're just joining every damn day for like two hours straight. And I took like, it's been, this is my first time going live in like four days. So I wanted to answer some questions. Let's see. Because what you also got to realize now is like even with your, even with your unhealthy food, they slowly, actually I would say fastly, <laughs> make them more unhealthy. Like your normal bag of potato chips, the sodium in it used to be, it would say like 50% sodium added to it, right? Now, when you look at your regular chips, like your Uts, I believe it is, UTZ or something like that, the popular one, it'll say 220% added sodium, right? So it went from 50% to now 220%, right? So your everyday foods, foods that were already unhealthy, they're slowly but surely making them more and more unhealthy, right? So you have to watch out for that. Thank you. Thanks for the support. Mm -mm. Sixers, yeah, I'm not a Sixers fan. I just like the black on black hat. <laughs> Let's see. Ginger roots, great. Everybody comment in Philly. If you follow me for a while, you know when I wear snapbacks or hats, 
I just get them for the colors and the designs. Something about cereal. Is that not yeah, you shouldn't, especially if you're diabetic, you shouldn't be dealing with any of these cereals, right? They're spiking your blood sugar. They're damaging your pancreas. It's one of the reasons you more than likely have diabetes. Type 1, type 2, pre-diabetic. Why kids are pre-diabetic and childhood diabetes is constantly on the rise. Because you're giving them this processed nonsense cereal with MSG, with Red Dow 40, right? I posted a video. Kids ages, what is it, under, kids ages 2 to 5 have the highest intake of red dye 40, which is horrible for them. Not to mention MSG. A lot of us think MSG is only in like Chinese food and only in processed foods. But what they've done is they know that some people, not everybody, has caught on to like MSG. So if they see it, they may want to stay away from it. So there's over, there's over 15 different names for MSG, right? It's like, oh. Y'all figured out what MSG is. We'll just call it this and 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 this. Now you'll never know it's MSG, right? But it's still MSG. This is stuff they're legally allowed to do, right? And you trust them. This is what be going on. This is why I be bringing it to y'all's attention. So I can get you on the right track so you can understand that you can heal yourself naturally. Stop depending on these doctors. Stop putting the power in other people's hands when you got the power in yourself, Right? Yeah, I'm working with a um, client right now who's dealing with kidney failure. Doing a lot better, doing a lot better. With the one-on-one -on -one consultations, that's what I deal with. Um, when it's something super specific, kidney failure, liver disease, diabetes, type 1, type 2, um, cancer, whatever it is. I post testimonials daily. People that no longer have internal cysts, people that can back to having sex again, people that no longer have diabetes, people that no longer have cancer, people that no longer have... What else? High blood pressure, cholesterol, like all that. All the incurable things. For some reason, people that deal with me in my one-on-one -on -one consultations, I don't use certain words, but they don't. They go back to the doctor and the doctor's like, huh? Your blood work doesn't have it anymore. I'm, I'm confused. Let's run this test again. Right? So, but I don't use specific words. I just give recommendations. Give you the game plan, you follow it, knock it out. That's what I say, knock it out. We knock it out. Mm, let's see. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, it's weird for me because I'll be on the um, in L.A. And I'm in West Virginia right now, so the time difference. So I lost two hours traveling overnight and the time change, so I lost three hours. And it was an overnight flight. Left at 12, arrived at 7.40 a.m., Right, because of the time change, it was actually only a five hour flight, and I don't sleep on planes, so I'm running on 24 hours straight right now. And I still got energy, right? Still got energy. Overnight flight, didn't sleep, didn't sleep throughout the day the day before to prep for the night flight. Just drove, had to drive two hours to my destination from the airport, haven't ate yet, and I'm full of energy and full of life. Why? Because my food is full of energy and full of life, because I'm eating electric, alive food, not dead food that will make me feel like I'm dead when I wake up, my body's sore, and I barely can open my eyes, and I got sleepers crawling out my eyes and boogers in my nose, because that's the mucus dripping out, and we think this is normal, we think it's normal for us to alarm to wake up, and that's got to hit snooze five times, and then we get up, we got to crack our back, rotate our shoulders, and get a big unhealthy breakfast, this is not normal, guys, this is not normal, <laughs> this is not normal. Sometimes I wake up, I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I ain't even got to wash my face. <laughs> Let me just get going, right? <laughs> Let me brush my teeth with my toothpaste that I made myself, which I showed y'all to make, so we can stop starting the day with fluoride, which is horrible, because you're using the fluoride to start your day, and that's sending the aluminum that's coming from all the other things in your diet, coming from all your prescription pills, coming from all your over-the-counter pills, so the fluoride is driving the aluminum right to your brain, and you're wondering why you're stressed out, why you're having panic attacks, why you're having anxiety attacks, why you're... Dad's got early stages of dementia while your granddad's got Alzheimer's. This is why. This is why, this is why. What, so what's, somebody says, so what's normal? Normal is waking up without boogers in your eyes and boogers in your nose and having a for 20 minutes before you get out of the bathroom. That's normal, right? It's not normal to do that. 
We just think it's normal because we've been doing it since we, as far back as we can remember. Our kids are doing the same thing. We wake them up, get them ready for school. We get all the boogers out of their eyes and all that. So it's normal because that's all we've seen. Because we've never seen a healthy body because from the time we've been young, our mother was giving us trash. We just think this is normal. But let me read y'all's comments because I will start ranting and I'll go an hour straight and I won't look at comments and I look down and it'll be people mad that I didn't see their comments. Even though I just spent an hour giving them nothing but free advice today wasn't going to get anywhere else <laughs> this is how y'all treat me you're like it's like s some of you are parasites <laughs> i appreciate the support but it's like dang you leech on i give you all this good information and you're like yeah well that wasn't enough what about this well you're not reading my comment right <laughs> so we got to be more positive because i'm giving you nothing but free positivity game that y'all ain't getting from nowhere else so just be appreciative i do my best I'm just joking with y'all, but it is funny. Uh, let's see. How do you make how do you make your toothpaste? I did a whole hour and a half live showing you how to make your toothpaste. It was an hour and a half live because I go on rants and explain every ingredient as to why. But really, it takes five minutes, not even five minutes. It takes two minutes to make your own toothpaste. Right? So if you missed that live, youtube.com slash twalkdog, or just search twalkdog. It's spelled the same on Instagram. On YouTube, spelled exactly the same. And I re-upload all my lives. So anytime you miss my live, you join in late, I re-upload it to my YouTube so you can watch the replay. You can take notes, whatever you need to do. So there goes for I see a couple questions about toothpaste. Take it to our... Hey, yo, stay hydrated. Yeah, always stay hydrated. Always drinking water. Start my day off with a juice. For those of you asking, what, what do I usually have for breakfast? I'm in West Virginia right now, so I don't know where I can get a green juice, pressed juice. So that's why I haven't put nothing in my system yet, right? <laughs> Quick question. Why you ain't fold your brim on a hat, though? I don't fold my brim. Not my style. Not my style. And if you fold your brim, I don't judge you because I don't care what other men do, right? I don't care how another man dresses. I would never go on another man's live and talk about how he dresses. I would never go on another man's video and talk about how he dresses because why would I be concerned with what another man is wearing in his day-to-day -day life, right? Especially when the guy's giving me a bunch of free information to help me improve my health. Doesn't make sense. This is what I be talking about. <laughs> People be sidetracked and that's that ADHD coming in because you can't focus on information when someone's teaching you because of the horrible food, right? They be having your mind all over the place. Stressed out. Hmm. Let's see. Thanks for sharing the live. Thanks for the, I guess the little sticker coins. I don't know what they are. Let's see. I'm just scrolling through comments. Again, no topic in mind. No topic in mind, just going off the top. Yes, I believe in Dr. Sabi's methods. It's one of the reasons I got into what I got into. And one of the people I learned from, I learned directly from my closest friend. The reason I moved to LA, actually. Um, traveled the world with Dr. Sabi for years and years and years. One of the few people to actually teach on stage with Dr. Sabi to share a stage with, stage with him. That's who I learned from directly. Right? He actually had diabetes. Type 1. Because every time I post a video about type, about diabetes, like, oh, he's only talking about type 2. There ain't nothing you can do for type 1. There ain't nothing you can do for type 1. My closest person, the closest person to me other than family, had type 1. He was losing his leg, was losing his eyesight. He's perfectly fine. His eyesight's perfectly fine. Legs perfectly fine. He'd be hooping and balling and jumping and dunking, right? 20, 20 vision, probably better than that. No diabetes, no insulin, no none of that. No medicine did he take to do that. Didn't have to get a pancreas, pancreas transplant, none of that naturally, right? Because you got to be careful when you're dealing with the doctors, right? Because what they'll do is, let's say if you got a kidney issue, Say, I think I got something wrong with my kidney. I might have kidney disease, 
whatever. Doctor said, you know what? We need to test it. We need to test your kidney. This is what your doctor's going to tell you. So how are we going to test it? We're going to chop off a little piece of your kidney. <laughs> and that'll tell us if you got kidney disease and if your kidney's working. Literally. It's one of the main ways they test if something's wrong with your kidney. Oh, you think, we think something might be. So, my phone froze. What we're going to do is we're going to cut off some of your kidney. We're going to test it. You know, maybe nothing's wrong with your kidney, but we still had to chop off your kidney. This is what I'm talking about. How backwards is that? How backwards is that? Both the valerian root, love it. Great. Valerian is great for anxiety, great for insomnia, great for blood pressure, all of those. Valerian root. Let's see. Yeah, oatmeal is acidic. You don't want to deal with that for breakfast. Have some quinoa instead. Some spelt flakes instead. Let's see. Just scrolling through comments. So, yeah. But, you know, I'll go off on a random rant. It just take the right comment to spark me. That's all. But, yeah, watch the replays because if you're new to my page, you just follow me. There's probably 30... Two hour lives on my YouTube. So I upload them all to YouTube. Right? So you can rewatch it. Same name on YouTube, same name on Instagram. Instagram's where I post client testimonials daily from my custom coaching. 40 for one month or 80 for three months is the special. Custom meal plan, grocery list, workout routine for the gym, for at home, based on your energy or injuries, based on your food allergies. It's completely customized to you. We do check ins weekly. The plan changes monthly. If you choose to continue, it's no contract at all. Stop anytime. It's based on you, right? This is why I'm able to post client testimonials for the past, coming up on five months straight now, never missed a day, many days, three to 10 testimonials per day, dramatic testimonials too, because it's got to be based on you. So when you ask these general questions, I do my best as you see to explain what's best for that, but everybody's different. Everybody's in a more, can be in a more severe situation. Everybody's a different weight. Everybody has different in injuries. That's why I'm like, all right, I'm going to come out with the custom coaching and help people out for a super low price, right? And undercharge, over-deliver. Testimony was daily for five months straight. I don't know anybody else that's doing that. I don't know anybody else. Maybe there is, but hey, I don't compare myself to nobody else. All I compare myself is to myself and make sure my people and all of you are getting those results. That's all that matters. Everything else comes along with it. Followers. Money, all that. It comes along with it when you're doing good things. And I teach y'all money too. I've been on multiple lives, literally showing y'all my screen of making $4,000 while I'm on the live from stocks and crypto. So I came out with the crypto course. Because y'all like, oh, how'd you do that? So now I have a stock course, a crypto course, just for beginners so you can get the basics and you can go from there, right? So I teach y'all health. I teach y'all money. Only thing I'm missing is damn shelter. If I teach y'all how to build a house, I don't... <laughs> I done did everything you need in life, right? What you need is good food that's going to keep you alive and healthy and functional, money, right? And then shelter. So if I start doing live showing you how to knit and showing you how to build a damn house, it's a wrap, right? Because <laughs> for some reason in what, let's say the average person does 13 years of school with kindergarten, one through 12th grade, right? Throughout that time, they never teach you the right foods to eat. They never teach you shelter because they don't even teach you how to go apply for your first apartment or anything like that in school, right? They don't teach you how to manage your money. So what the hell was the 13 years of school for, right? That's why by the time I got to software, I'm like, yo, I'm not doing this. I'm out and I dropped out, right? It's funny, most of the people I learn from me and my mentors, as far as health, as far as finances, yeah, health, finances, real estate, all of them, none of them passed 10th grade, right? <laughs> but if you don't have a piece of paper on your wall that says diploma or degree or something, the way this world is set up, you're looked at as you're not smart, right? That's weird. Because <laughs> I be teaching you all hell of shit. <laughs> that health class never taught me. The only thing I learned in health class we made Rice Krispie Treats one time because you got to take one year health class in West Virginia where I'm from. 
10th grade, we learned how to make Rice Krispie treats with tons of, what the hell we use? Tons of butter and tons of marshmallow, which I could do a whole video on marshmallow and butter, right? So that's one thing I learned in school. <laughs> I didn't learn how to apply for an apartment or how to build my credit. I didn't learn how to get into real estate. I didn't learn any of that in school, right? But if I don't have a paper showing that I completed 12 good years of school or in a cap and gown framed or something, then I'm not smart, right? It's weird. <laughs> it's very strange. So that's why I'll be trying to teach y'all money, food to keep you alive, what they don't teach you in school. It's weird stuff, weird stuff. Like I said, everybody I learned from hasn't passed 10th grade and many people I'm close to are millionaires, right? The person I was just telling you who traveled the world with Dr. Sabi, who I learned directly from when it comes to this holistic health and healing and who heals people his own self, right? He's a multimillionaire from stocks, from courses, things like that. He dropped out 10th grade. I didn't finish 12th grade. I won state championship in basketball and then didn't go back to school. Because the only thing that was keeping me motivated to go to school, because, uh, you know, like a kid, you have a dream of going to the NBA. I was a top player, then I broke my ankle. But we still, I came back, we won state championship. But then I'm like, eh, I don't want to do this work that doesn't relate to what I want to do in my life. Facts, brother polite. Yep. This is my closest friend. Let's see, let's see. Let me scroll through some comments. Yes, public schools designed to keep you in a rat race. I refuse to be in a rat race. That's why I be moving around, doing my own thing. No boss, no schedule. I wake up when I want. I don't need to set an alarm. I do what I want for a living, which is help you all. I learn stocks, I learn crypto. So I don't have to press the agenda to sell personal training like a lot of these super sells you personal trainers and you talk to them, they get you on a phone consultation, or you go to a gym, you get your consultation, the free workout, and they take you by the, to the desk and try to sell you super hard on a $250, $1,000 personal training package. I'm like, okay, I'll just put a $40 package. If somebody wants it, they want it. I'm happy to help get tons of testimonials. But there's other means. I do this free advice for y'all daily. Minimum three videos daily for the past Nine months straight, I want to say. Free advice daily. One free live like this. Was doing it daily. Took a little four-day break. Let's see. I went to your website. It says that it could be damaging to my phone. How? Learn how to what? When you click a link, any link on TikTok, I don't know what that's about. I've never heard that one before. If you go to my website all day, every day, I'm seeing notifications pop up right now as I'm on a lot, right? Thank y'all for signing up. Thank y'all for buying the detox program, whatever it is. I'll check once I get off the live. But TikTok, any website, their goal is to keep you on their website, right? That's how they rank higher on the app store and things like that. So when you click my link on my TikTok profile, it's going to say, are you sure you want to leave TikTok? Because we really want to keep you on TikTok. So it's going to give you a warning. Say yes. You'll see the drop down for the detox plan, for the one-on-one -on -one consultations, for the custom coaching. Again, 40 for one month or 80 for three months. So you get a whole month free. T client testimonials for the last five months straight. Facts. You can be in a classroom all you want, learning this stuff until you actually go out on the field. Don't mean nothing. I know so many people, they got 10 certifications, nutritionist specialists, nutritionists, whatever, and they don't know nothing. <laughs> Because you got to realize I was a general manager at all the top gyms in the nation, right? On every coast. I ran the Lifetime as a general manager. Um, Gold's Gym, Capel Fitness, EOS Fitness. Um, what else? So many. So, yeah, I've actually done the legitimate, I guess you would say the, is it the legitimate side, the structured side of things. And I didn't like it. Cause like I just mentioned, we were in there with selling bullshit packages and charging crazy money to people and doing super hard pressure sales. And that's like what I was trained to do. And I'm like, okay, I don't like this. <laughs> it's got to be a better way to do this, to make more people be able to afford it, give them more than what we're even offering. 
more customized to them because a lot of their programs, even when you get a personal trainer in the gym, they already have a template that that company has all the personal trainers that are hired. They have to follow this set style of training, this set style of meal plan, right? It's like auto-generated through a computer. You come in for your next appointment and here's your meal plan and it's not customized at all, right? <clears throat> and here y'all go. What did I tell you? I was going to rant and give y'all tons of free information and now I'm going to look down there's going to be 5, 10, 20 comments. People saying, he's not even answering comments. He's like, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Selfish people, yo. I spend my free time giving y'all free information and game and I don't answer your one question and y'all want to diss, right? <laughs> crazy 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 but think about me as i understand why you do that it's the food it's the food that's giving you anger issues it's the food <laughs> that makes you feel some sort of way frustrated and stressed because you're probably dealing with the health issue and you probably commented a question that you really was depending on me to answer so you can improve your health and improve your life and i missed the question so now you're mad at me versus you could be reading. You could have spent decades of your time like I did getting the information and you know how to heal yourself and wouldn't be dependent on a person who you've never met before to answer your question to save your life or this doctor, right? Think about that. You ever think about that? Can't please everyone, right? Can't please everyone. <laughs> Can't please them. But I love to just address it, just to make people understand what they're doing, right? Because I don't have to do this. <laughs> I'm like on vacation visiting my family right now. I just flew from L.A. to West Virginia. I'm like, you know what? Let me take a second because I'm going to be here for like 10 days. I'm not going to be as focused on my phone and stuff. I'm still going to post my minimum videos, three TikTok videos a day. Still going to reply to messages. Still going to send out plans for my clients. But let me take time away from my visit with my family, which you, I guess you could say is a vacation. And let me go live, right? <clears throat> yeah, I answered a lot of questions, right? Which plan is 80 for three months? That's the custom coaching. So you get customized everything, 80 for three months. So it's 40 for one month. So you get a whole month free. Links in the bio. Custom meal plan, custom grocery list, custom cardio plan, custom workout routines for the gym at home based on your in injuries based on your goals, based on your food allergies, if you're vegan, if you're pescatarian, if you still eat meat, it doesn't matter. It's based on you. I'm going to give you the healthiest option based on what type of diet you subscribe to. But I'm going to throw in a bunch of free information for you to have just in case you want to make the transition to the stuff I'll be talking about, eliminating specific foods I'll be talking about. But I don't judge anybody because I came from the same place many of us are at, right? I came from eating the meat and coming home to burgers with mucus cheese on it and acidic buns and <laughs> the meat clogging my arteries. I came from all that, right? Because that's what my mom made for me. So I don't judge anybody that's at that stage. My goal is to transition you out of that stage, but I don't force it on anybody. So yeah, custom coaching is all that. Yeah, I don't even like talking about the virus. I'm not even going to say the name because these social media, so they be sensitive with that word and the one nine word and the all that vaccine stuff. I don't even like to really address it. But I mean, if you follow me, you should already know. <laughs> it's not a question you have to ask me. It's not a question you have to ask me. You know, when it comes to mixing the teas and things like that, best thing you can do is hold your nose and throw it back. If not that, you can add agave as a sweetener. But yeah, when you're getting into like mixing the herbs and things like that for specific illnesses and issues that you're trying to reverse, you got to understand that it's not going to taste amazing. <clears throat> yeah, definitely not getting it. <laughs> So you keep commenting y'all's questions. I'm literally chilling in the car because I'm again I'm staying at my brother's house because I'm visiting family right now and he got super thin walls and he works from home. So you know I'll be talking all loud and just talking nonstop. So I'm like, I'm gonna go sit in the car <laughs> so I don't mess up his calls and stuff.
Yeah, shout out to all y'all. Yeah, you could use lemon. I recommend key limes the best. Many cases, depending on where you at, you have to uh, you may have to order key lime because it's super hard to find. E.G. website about to get blocked. He said, "Don't ask." He said, "We selfish if we ask." That's not what I said. I've asked. Her, I've had, I've already answered over like 30, 50 of y'all's questions since I've been in here. I go live almost daily for two hours straight answering questions. What I said was, if I'm in a conversation, if I'm ask, asking, or sorry, if I'm answering someone else's question, if I'm educating you on a specific topic, of course, I'm not going to see every question. So don't get mad as I'm answering someone else's question or speaking on a specific topic to educate you for free that I may have missed your question and then complain, right? <clears throat> Facts, he doesn't owe you anything. Comment below, should I block EG website? Because I'll be throwing block parties all day. <laughs> I'll be throwing block parties all day. I'll be seeing, like, I'll just go to my comments and I'll see, like, paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. And I'll just skim through and I'll see it's negative. Block, 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 block. <clears throat> Shout out to San Diego. I just left Cali. Happy to help Iris. Let's see. Have I say yes? <laughs> I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you live for a little bit before I finish you. Finish him. The new Mortal Kombat movie coming out. When's that come out? Oh, I'm in West Virginia now too. I wonder if the movie theaters are open here. Probably not. That's one thing I hate about living in Cali. It's still like completely shut down. Dang, I wonder if there's anything else I can do in West Virginia that I can't do in California. Because in California, we can't even eat inside yet. So I know you I can do that here. So I definitely got to eat inside somewhere. But the question is, where am I going to find in West Virginia that has food that I can eat inside? That is the question. Because I got more options in California. But... My homeboy that does the meal prep for me for the alkaline. Nah, I never do, uh, block everybody who disagrees. I block people who are disrespectful with it. You can respectfully disagree. Now I have an open conversation with you. Many people, you'll, you'll if you watch my replay lives that I upload to my YouTube, you'll see all the time. People will comment something uneducated. I'll educate them and keep them going. But when you get disrespectful, that's when I get you out of here. Because I don't deal with negative energy. Positive energy, positive thoughts. Like that one right there. I want to say thank you. You've helped me lose weight and have more energy. I said, Diane, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching the videos. Because I'm pretty sure you're not a client. Yeah, no, I don't look like it. So that means you're doing what a lot of people do and you're getting the results from the free advice that I post daily. So shout out to you for doing your thing. Somebody said they got a vegan spot in VA. They got tons of, they got a vegan spot in every damn city and every state. That doesn't mean it's good. That's my thing. I'm in West Virginia. I'm 100% sure I can find places that sell vegan food or that are labeled vegan. That doesn't mean, not mean I want to eat there, right? Because many places that are vegan are still using soy and tofu and nothing but white rice and brown rice and white sugar and brown sugar and white flour and white bread and canola oil and heating up the wrong oils and just nonsense this is the things like we have to watch out for this is why i teach y'all because the thing is people like oh, i'm transitioning or even people that just eat meat every day people that eat meat every day will see maybe see one of my videos and be like, you know what i'm gonna eat vegan today you know go to the vegan spot they know and eat vegan but it's completely unhealthy for them right so you're just damaging yourself in a different way. You're choosing a different poison. Best way to maintain a cleanse. I I got so many questions on the detox and cleansing that I came out with a detox plan. So that link's in the bio. It's 35 so that's about a dollar a day. 
um, because it's a month long, 30 day detox and reset program. It lays it all out for you. So you know what herbs to take, how to mix them, how to make them, what measurements, what foods to eat, how to fast, the fasting protocol. That's all laid out for you. Detox, 30 day detox and reset plan. Links in the bio. That is, um, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, links in the bio for that. You purchase it, the download will come off. Oh, my phone's about to die. It's on 10%. I'm just going to stay on here until it dies. With my snacks on my drive. Anytime I be driving, I'll be snacking. Right? When I be driving, I'll be snacking. Because, again, from the airport, I had to drive two hours to West Virginia. So, I'll be driving and snacking. And I don't know... M&M's, not on no Skittles, not on no Dunkaroos, not on no, none of that. Just some dried mango. When you're getting any dried fruit and mango, make sure there's no added ingredients. Because a lot of you be buying dried mango and it's covered with cane sugar and maltodextrin and my girl brought home something crazy the other day. Oh, I should have saved it. This was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What was it? Because she ain't as on, she's not on, I'm working on it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm working on it. She's a work in progress, a big work in progress, right? So she came home. Like, babe, look what I found. It was like a bag like this. It was dried. It was like sun-dried pears. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I can tell John looking at it. I'm like, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I flip it around. And it was sun, the ingredients was pears. And what was the other ingredient? It was like three other ingredients. Something crazy. It was sulfur. I believe it was sulfur dioxide. Right? <laughs> and I wanted to do a video on it, right? Because I'm like, yo, people are really getting this dry pear and thinking they're eating a healthy snack. I'm like, let me, I, I have to see what this is. So I literally, I literally tasted it, right? I took like a little piece. I'm like. And literally spit it out. It was disgusting. I'm like, yo, how are people eating this? Like, and people are eating this full bag. And then she ate it. She's like, what the hell? It was cra It literally tastes like sulfur. So anyways, sulfur dioxide. Yes, that's what it was. It was sulfur dioxide. It's literally what they use <laughs> for so many horrible things. Google, I want you to Google is sulfur dioxide okay to eat. Or is sulfur dioxide unhealthy? Watch what comes up. You're going to see so many <laughs> things. Like, it is horrible for you. And people are eating this as a healthy snack. Crazy. Because it says pear. Organic, natural, sun-dried pear. Healthy snack. And this is what you're munching on. And it's covered in sulfur dioxide. My goodness. Yeah, let's get dry mango. No added, nothing added. Should only have one ingredient. If there's any other ingredient, do not get it. Do not get that. Anything I anytime I buy anything. Wait, I gotta figure out a way. Somebody gotta help me out with the technical stuff. Cause no matter what grocery store I go into, I can't get service. Because I am I want to go grocery shopping and just walk through the grocery store as I'm on live. Go through the aisles. I'll go through every aisle. <laughs> I'm weird like that. Other day, that's like two times I went grocery shopping. A grocery shop. I'm about to go pay. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to set. I'm just going to read labels for like 45 minutes to an hour before I leave. <laughs> and I'll literally be in the grocery store for two hours. I'll run in to get like some dried mangoes, some dates, some figs. I'll get it, go to check out, take me five minutes to grab them. I know where they at, bang, bang, bang. I get them so often. I'm like, you know what? I feel like reading labels today. <laughs> and what I'll do is, this is where you got to, I want you to pay attention. I will go to the vegan section. I will go to the plant-based section. I will go to the organic section. And I'll just read these labels and I'm like, oh my goodness, yo. 
these ingredients are horrible. And I'll look at the box and the box will say real big and 100% natural, organic, non-GMO. It'll even say soy free sometimes. But most of the times, most of them things have soy in it. That's what I found in the vegan section. It's so hard to find something that doesn't have soy or doesn't have like just nonsense in it. So anyways, it'll say all that highlighted real big. I'll turn it around. It'll have 30 ingredients every time without fail. Just sodium this, chloride this, dioxide this. I'm like, yo, okay, so no soy, non-GMO. It's not meat. <laughs> but you forgot to mention these 30 ingredients, which all do horrible things to the body. And now people are buying this. Because they're like, all right, T-Walk the Hawk said don't use, don't eat soy and don't eat meat. So I'm going to go here. And this is in the vegan section, so I know it's not meat. And I know it's not soy. It says no soy real big. And it says organic. And it says 100% natural. So this has to be good to go. Then, no. No, no, no. So as soon as I figure out how to get my damn phone service to work when I go in stores, I don't know what it is. Every grocery store I've tried, when I go to it, and I go live like this, it just freezes. And y'all was in here the other time I tried, like a few weeks ago. Like, yeah, we can't hear nothing you're saying. It's glitching. I'm like, oh my goodness. I was about to show y'all the do's and the don'ts. So I'm like, what do you buy? So I was going to show you what I'm throwing in my cart, what not to throw, what sections to avoid. Flip around, show you ingredients. I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I know. I was going to make a YouTube video, but I don't know. I like to be more interactive. When I'm doing something like that, I want to see y'all's comments coming live. I want to see y'all ask about, I want to point to the rack and y'all say, what about that? And I'm going to pick it up and we're going to read the label together because a lot of people I realize do have no idea how to read a nutritional label. No idea. And it's sad because this is something you should be learn. You should have learned in school, right? Do they even have a college major that teaches that? I don't even think, like, <laughs> but you don't learn in your first 13, 14 years of regular school. If you go to college, like, people go to be nutritionists and stuff, and, like, so many nutritionists don't even know what they're talking about. So, yeah, I can interact on YouTube. My YouTube's dead. That's why I'm working on building it up. If I go live on there, I might not be nobody in it. <laughs> so, yeah. Even clients all the time. All day, I'm checking my DM of them grocery shopping. Hey, what about this? What about this? Sending me picture after picture. And most of the time, I want to say 95% of the time, they're sending it to me because they think they found something that's good. And every, like, 95% of the time, I'm like, uh, no. And what happens is they'll send me a picture of the front, the front of the box, the front of the wrapper, whatever, where it says no added flavors, no artificial flavors, non-GMO, um, soy-free 100% natural, plant-based. And they'll send me that. They'll be like, is this this is good, right? And I'm like, I can't tell you whether that's good unless you send me a picture of the back of it. Right? So that's another thing I do for all of my clients with the custom coaching. That's not in the details, but yeah, message me anytime and stuff like that. So I got to make sure y'all on the right track. I see some of y'all buying coaching as I'm on this live. I see the notifications, so I'm going to message y'all. As soon as I get off here, Gather your goals. And then again, within five business days, I had a plan to you. Once we get, once I get all the details for your goals, food allergies, injuries, you're working out at home, you're working out at the gym, everything like that. 100% based on you. Yeah, I know nutritionists and dietitians are not the same thing. I know that. <laughs> Nutritionists, dietitians, PhD doctors. I'm talking about everything. Know nothing about nutrition. <laughs> I was not. I was not a. I was not mistaken. I know what I said. Broccoli butt. And broccoli butt. I just tell you, but broccoli's hard, horrible for you. <laughs> I just recognize your name. Please stop dealing with the broccoli. I hope that's just a nickname you picked up. And that doesn't mean that you're super in love with broccoli because bro broccoli's hybrid, which is horrible, which means they bind it with the starch, which starch is acidic. So you don't want to deal with uh, broccoli. That is not a good veggie. It's not a real veggie. It's 
So somebody's name just gave me a good teaching point. Stop dealing with broccoli. And the person whose name is broccoli something, I believe was trying to educate me on the difference between dietitians and nutritionists. I'm assuming, I have the assumption that she was saying, or he, that a dietitian may be more educated than a nutritionist. But as you're trying to educate me on that, 